Dr. Mark Rosenberg. I'm an MD and I'm a cancer scientist and my office is called the Institute for Healthy Aging. And I also teach the, or am the program director for the first integrative cancer fellowship in this country. The first and only existing cancer fellowship in this country. And the reason that I research cancer and the reason that I teach uh, and are the pro am the program director for an integrative cancer fellowship is unfortunately we are not much better at treating advanced stage solid tumors than we were 30 years ago. And I'm here to tell you about an exciting breakthrough that I've discovered in the treatment of advanced stage cancer. But before I do that, I want to explain exactly what's gone on in the treatment of advanced stage cancer. There was a large meta-analysis that was published in the British journal called Clinical Oncology in December of 2004 that looked at every every cancer that was treated with chemotherapy between 1990 and 2004 in both the US and Australia. It looked at all these randomized trials to see did chemotherapy in fact extend five-year survival. And here are the results. They found that it extended five-year survival in 2.1 percent of the cases that they looked at in the US and in 2.3 percent of the cases they looked at in Australia. And that improved survival, survival generally amounted to about 60 days. So what can we surmise what, or what can we conclude from this? We can conclude that we are no more successful at extending five-year survival overall for the advanced stage solid tumors than we were 30 years ago. Well, why is that? Well, there are many different reasons that chemotherapy hasn't affected uh, or extended survival. But perhaps the main reason is something that we've discovered over the, over the past 10 years, and that's that most, if not all, cancers arise and are propagated by cancer stem cells. And unfortunately, chemotherapy does not affect cancer stem cells. So when we're treating advanced stage solid tumors, when we're treating cancer other than surgically, we've got to come up with a method to get those cancer stem cells. And now I'll get into my breakthrough, which caused uh, exciting results. And this is only the beginning, and a lot more research has to be done. But recently, I took a lady with stage 4 cancer and achieved remission uh, in four weeks. Now, my second patient has stage 3C cancer with a tumor marker that was rapidly rising. And in two weeks, we got the tumor marker to drop 40%. Well, it's very exciting, and let me explain this new theory. Um, and no longer just a theory, but the new practice of, of, of treating cancer. Most cancers are glycolytic, and what that means is they love sugar, and they utilize sugar through a process called glycolysis. Now, the end product of glycolysis is lactic acid. So the more aggressive the cancer is, the more it's utilizing glucose through glycolysis and the more lactic acid it produces. Those cancer cells have to be able to get the lactic acid out of their cells because if they don't, they'll kill themselves by becoming too acidic. Now there are four mechanisms that are overexpressed in cancer that help efflux or pump out that lactic acid. They have to do it. It's their way of surviving. Now, not only does pumping the lactic acid out of the cancer cells help them from dying from being too acidic, but also when they pump the acid out and make that extracellular milieu acidic, that acidic nature promotes the aggressiveness and metastasis, metastasis of cancer. So what I've discovered is that if we can block two or th even three of those mechanisms involved in pumping acid out of the cell, when those cancer cells eat, they're going to become very acidic. So what I did, in fact, is block three of those mechanisms. And then what I do is I literally feed the cancer cells. We bring the patient in and we infuse intravenous glucose. And we fill those cancer cells with sugar. And the end result is they make a lot of acid. Acid that they can't pump out of the cell. And the more they eat, the more and the faster they kill themselves. And if you want to pour icing on the cake, you can follow that treatment with anything else that is cytotoxic to, to cancer cells, whether it's very low dose chemotherapy, whether it's even high dose vitamin C, whether it's radiation therapy, they're going to die much faster. 
So this is a new concept in the treatment of cancer. And what makes this very exciting, remember, the chemotherapy does not affect can cancer stem cells. However, cancer stem cells, like their counterpart, the non-stem cells, both go through the same met metabolic processes, meaning feeding on glucose through glycolysis, producing lactic acid. In theory, what I'm doing should work just as well on the cancer stem cells as the non-stem cells. Two patients does not make a study. They make two case reports. But so far, this is very exciting. And I believe the most promising and exciting work ever to be done on cancer. This has been Dr. Mark Rosenberg with the Institute for Healthy Aging. Feel free to contact my office. You can use the website www.antiagemed.com. Thank you.